playoff time, 10 things to know for the NBA postseason. There's no LeBron James in these playoffs, so the NBA Finals will have a distinctly new look for the first time in nine years. There's no Tony Parker, for the first time in nearly two decades. There's no Dwayne Wade, and he'll never play a playoff game again. San Antonio is in the postseason for a record time 22nd consecutive season. Brooklyn, Denver, Detroit, Orlando and the Los Angeles Clippers got into these playoffs after watching the postseason last year. As always at playoff time, there are some familiar things and some not so familiar things. With the postseason set to begin Saturday, here's 10 things to know going into the best time of the NBA year. Drive FOR5 Golden State is trying to reach the NBA Finals for the fifth consecutive season. If the Warriors get there, they would be the second franchise ever with such a three joining only the Boston Celtics, who went there in 10 straight seasons from 1957 to 66. The Warriors are one of five franchises with a three to four straight NBA Finals trip. The Los Angeles Lakers did it from 1982 to 85, the Celtics also did it from 1984, to 87, the Miami Heat did it from 2011, to 14 and the Cleveland Cavaliers did it from 2015, to 18. Golden State is also seeking its seventh championship in franchise history. That would put the Warriors in sole possession of third place on the back. Most titles list, behind Boston, 17, and the Lakers, 16. The Warriors and Chicago are currently tied for third with six championships each. Blowout bus Milwaukee has 45 double digit wins this season, the most in the NBA. That's a really good omen for the bus. Only four teams in NBA history have posted more double digit wins in a regular season than the bus this year. Those clubs are the 1971 to 72 Los Angeles Lakers, 50, the 2016 the 17 Golden State Warriors, 48, the 1970, the 71 Bucks, 47, and the 1995, the 96 Chicago Bulls, 46. All four of those teams went on to win the NBA championship. Mr. 3000, Houston's James Harden scored 2,818 points in the regular season, which puts him on the cusp of joining the very elite club. If Harden scores 182 in the playoffs, that will give him a total of 3,000 and he would be the 10th player in NBA history to score that many in the full season, postseason included. The others, Michael Jordan, 10 times, Will Chamberlain, 5 times, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Rick Barry, Elgin Baylor, Kobe Bryant, Kevin Durant, Boston Kaboo and Shaquille O'Neal. Durant was the last to do it, in 2013-14. Welcome back Holly Leonard's last postseason appearance ended earlier than planned, when he hurt his left ankle while taking a jumper over. Golden State got the Pachulia in Game 1 of the 2017 Western Conference Finals. Pachulia closed out aggressively, Leonard didn't have space to land safely and he missed the rest of that series. When Leonard left the game, he and San Antonio were up by 23. The Spurs lost that lead, lost the game, lost the series and Leonard never played a postseason second with the Spurs again after that bad landing. Toronto is hoping that Leonard can rekindle his typical postseason magic in his playoff return. Leonard enters these playoffs with a 32, Tyson game three of double-digit postseason outing, averaging 24.1 points in those contests. Jeff Rising Warriors star Stephen Curry is on pace to catch Ray Allen and become them back all-time free, Tyson point leader sometime in the 2020-21 season. That's that only takes regular season games into account. In the postseason, Curry is about to become number one. Curry has 378 career postseason three seconds, good for number two on the back all-time playoff list. Allen is number one with 385. The 16 playoff teams are playing for the Larry O'Brien Trophy, 4 rings, 4 of the rate and 4 state of comma 676 comma 510. That's the amount of this year's NBA playoff pool record. Every playoff team is assured of some of the pie, which is often used to fund bonuses for players and teams. 
stat. So far, all 16 teams are due at least on the 500 six each. Most have already clinched much more because finishing in the top 6 spots in each conference also comes with a bonus. For example, Milwaukee because it has the best record in the NBA is already due on the 495 on the 750. Teams get an additional on the 930 for winning the first round series. Conference finalists get another on the 094. The losing team in the NBA finals gets another con the 543 con the 680 win and the NBA chance gets win more pay out of con the 838 con the 798. Add it all up, and the bus could get con the 355 con the 572 if they win the title. No other team can win that much. Houston, a problem? Houston is the number 4 seed in the Western Conference, and faces number 5 seed Utah in the first round. History suggests the Rockets are in trouble. Utah has won each of its last 5 appearances in a 4 Tyson vs. 5 series. The 5th seed is Jazz Nasa Oklahoma City in 2018, the Los Angeles Clippers in 2017 and Denver in 2010. The Jazz were seeded number 4 when they win a 4. Tyson vs. 5 series in 2007 and 2008 both of those coming against Houston. Booby debuted in Marcus Cousins as number one on the list that nobody wants to leave. By this weekend, he'll be off the list entirely. Cousins has played in 565 regular season games and zero postseason games. That'll change this weekend when he and Golden State play host to the Los Angeles Clippers in Game 1 of the Western Conference First Round Series. No active NBA player has been in more regular season games without a playoff appearance than Cousins. When he played for the Warriors this weekend, and when Kyle Oakland currently number 2 on the list with 443 regular season games without a postseason minute. Played for Indiana, the new active leader in games played without a postseason appearance will be Brandon Knight. He's played in 421 and is still looking for his first playoff outing. Milestone coming sometime in the next couple of months. The 4,000th playoff game in NBA history will be played. Final start this season's NBA final start May 30th. It'll be the earliest game win of the title. Series since 1986 when Boston and Houston opened their series on May 26th. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.